Battle of Rostam and Esfandiar. The Battle of Rostam and Esfandiar is a story in Ferdowsi's epic Iranian Shahnameh. Narrator of the war between two Iranian states, the difference from other wars is that only the warlords are involved in the duel, and the army is watching both. The cause of the war is Rostam's disobedience to the father of Esfandiar Gestas, the king of Iran. When the Gestas came to power in Iran, all countries were loyal except Zabel. Esfandiar was one of the senior commanders of Gestas' strategic goals. He had already won several great battles, but now he had to kill Gestas, the most powerful enemy, and conquer his country. Esfandiar had demanded the throne from his father, but Gestas' condition was to keep Rostam captive in the capital of Iran. Hearing the king's wishes, everyone was surprised. Esfandiar's mother said it was suicide. No one could fight Rostam and the Shah had to give up his desire to conquer Zabul. Immediately after the reign of the Shah, Esfandiar, along with his son Bafman and his advisor Pashutan, moved towards the border of Zabul and camped on the bank of the river, and then Bahman sent him with a message to Zabul. Talks and talks were of no avail, and a duel began between the two gladiators. This battle lasted for several days, sometimes Esfandiar won and sometimes Rostam won, but the outcome was not known. Rostam complained to Zell about this hard battle. Zell sought help from Saimorj and Samorj advised Rostam to win, but said that the consequences of Esfandiar's murder would be severe. On the first day of the war, Rostam shot Esfandiar because Esfandiar had an invulnerable body, and Esfandiar wounded Rostam. If Rostam had fought with Esfandiar one more time, he would have died. Rostam's body was full of many wounds, but Esfandiar did not have a single scratch. Rostam had no choice but to go to his father. Rostam's father Zal said, give me time to think. Zal saw the only solution to help Samor. Whenever Zal faced an unsolvable problem in life, he would say Samor. Zal went to the top of a mountain and burned a feather. It didn't take long for the sky to clear. A strange wind blew and the grass and leaves of the trees and bushes began to dance. Zell put a hand in front of his eyes and looked at the light above his head. He took a few steps back and suddenly the King of Heaven appeared. Zell asked Samorj for help. Samorj told him that your son is caught in a difficult war. Fighting people with invulnerable bodies is completely stupid. But there is still a glimmer of hope for Zabelian warrior. Esfandiar's whole body is invulnerable until the day of resurrection because he bathed in the water of life. But he closed his eyes while taking a bath. His eyes will kill him. The solution for your warrior son is only in Esfandiar's eyes. Go to the top of the mountain. There is a big tree here. It has a strong stick. Make a double-headed arrow from its branch to hit his two eyes. Let your son shoot at him from a distance and kill him. But I warn you that Esfandiar's mother cursed her son's killer. Whoever kills Esfandiar, his dearest people will die. Rostam frowned and said, my dearest people are about to die now. What's the solution? I accept this risk. The next day, Rostam had a two-way arrow. On the second day, Rostam blinded both Esfandiar's eyes with an arrow, and the same arrow caused Esfandiar's death.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.